Games Workshop mentioned Space Hulk. I repeat, Games Workshop mentioned Space Hulk. Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Neon's Battle, and Games Workshop mentioned Space Hulk. One of my favorite, and I think everybody's favorite games in a Kill Team article, a Kill Team Tease article. And I think that this article was very, very, very enlightening, and it might not mean what you think. Kill Team enters the void, and there's a new robotic companion to help. Kill Team pitches the elite operatives in a desperate missions of perilous Xenos worlds, isolated Imperial backwaters, the front lines of Abaddon's Despoiler's latest invasion. Far from these war-ravaged kill zones, however, a new frontier beckons, the void of space containing greater danger and even greater rewards. This article teases that the next Kill Team box is going to be set on a Space Hulk. And I said I said that the next Kill Team box is going to be called Kill Team Raymond. So Kill Team Raymond is apparently set on a Space Hulk, which is a very, very cool place to set the Kill Team boxes. All of the Kill Team boxes have, in theory, been set in different locations. And that's, you know, we've gotten the Orc terrain on Tan Sand board. We got a some damn ruined Imperial Cathedral type buildings on Tan Sand. And then we got some really cool Sector Mechanicus industrial terrain on Tan Sand. And so, oh, and then we even got the Imperial Fronteris like outpost terrain on Tan Sand. So hopefully now that the next one is set on a Space Hulk, which is all inside, we're not going to get Tan Sand. Although I would not put it past Games Workshop to have a really cool gritty industrial terrain just with tons of sand poured on top of it. I, I would not put it past them, but it's not gonna happen. The Space Hulk is going to be cool. But the big question is, you know, Space Hulks are a normal thing in 40K. They're a, they're a classic staple, but it's also a fan favorite game. So does this mean anything for, for the game of Space Hulk? It, it might, but I would guess not. So Space Hulk, I believe the first edition of Space Hulk came out in 1985, and it's had four editions since then. Four editions, really more like three and a half. The last release was in 2014, which is when this puppy is from. But Space Hulk is a wonderful, wonderful game. It's super, super easy to teach people. It's the, the Space Marines, the Space Marine Terminators of the Blood Angels first company versus the evil Gene Stealers as all of the bad guys in Games Workshop box games have to be Tyranids, have to be Gene Stealers. And so this box, that would make you think that the next Kill Team box is going to be Gene Stealers versus Terminators, but I betcha it isn't. But I also bet that this doesn't have a lot to do with Space Hulk. The only thing I would think is Space Hulk has always had expansions. The first edition expansions were definitely the best where you would actually get a new box full of new cards, rules, card stock, card stock terrain, and new miniatures. The 2014 expansions, by far being the lamest, they were iPad PDFs you could download. In 2014, Games Workshop went hard into digital download content. Just trying to just trying to jump on fads. It was terrible. If you look up like Games Workshop publications, there all of these things are on Warhammer Plus. If you look up them, there's tons and tons of these things that that nobody bought and nobody read. <laughs> just anything they could think of. Eldar, Space Marines. Ugh, it was terrible. But all Space Hulks have had expansions. And so in theory, they could re-release Space Hulk. And this Kill Team box could double as an expansion to bring in more forces into Kill Team. It's possible. I would consider it unlikely. Um, and I mean, it would, I mean, I don't know what this is gonna come back as in terms of price point. I could see it as if Games Workshop is nice to us, 200. If Games Workshop is not nice to us, 250? I mean, it comes with, what, 22 Gene Stealer models and I think 12, 12 uh, Space Marines. So it comes with a lot of models and just tons of cardstock and tokens and some, some really good rules. People love this game because it is a good game. So I could totally see this box coming back for 200 to 
and it would really suck if the expansion for this game cost $210, which is what the new Kill Team box is likely going to come in as. So that's reason number one, I don't think it's going to be a Space Hulk expansion. Also, I mean, you know, this box coming with almost 40 models and the new box coming with around 20 is not that good a look either. Another reason is because this, uh, Space Hulk is on a, uh, a generated grid map. Each mission will tell you exactly how to lay out the tiles so that it creates the, the map that you're going to be fighting that Space Hulk mission on. And Kill Team is played in essentially in a 40K style of an open map that you can place the terrain and obstacles wherever you want. And in Kill Team 2018, there was a thing called Arena, which was considered the more competitive way to play Kill Team 2018, although I consider that pretty laughable. And in that in that way, you did you it was still fairly open, but there were choke points, obstacles, there was there were there was a, essentially a ceiling, a fake ceiling, and models had to move up to doors and then spend ac spend action points to open doors, and uh, it was fine. I don't know. Competitive players really got a kick out of it, but I never was a big fan of it. And of course, Arena was also part of the uh, the last the last box made, which was the famous Pariah Nexus, the Necron box that people famously hated because it sucked and was clearly just like thrown together really fast to be shoved out the door to get to just have a big box ready for some of the, the Necron kits that people were after. It was it was terrible. I didn't like Arena. I do not think Arena is going to come to Kill Team. Every new Kill Team expansion has had some new terrain rules that you that are specifically made for the terrain available in the box. And so my assumption is going to be that this new Kill Team board is essentially going to have a ceiling area. And so it might, it might, I could totally see it being uh, the, the zone, it's not zone mortalis, but for Necromunda, they make a zone mortalis style wall and door terrain. And so I could totally see that being thrown in the box. And then the rules say that there's essentially a ceiling and so models can't move over terrain pieces like they would normally be able to. So that's, that's what I would expect because if this was going to be an expansion for Space Hulk, it would need to come with the tiles that, Space Hulk uses, but Kill Team doesn't use the tiles. It, it has an open system. So that's another reason why I don't really think this has much to do with Space Hulk other than it's set in the same environment. But does that just mean that, okay, they're both set on Space Hulks, who cares? No, because I think Games Workshop were a little bit of a goober and I think that they gave away way too much information. I know in this article that seems like complete fluff nonsense, who cares? I think that they have told us exactly what armies are going to be in this box, which is really, really fun. When this article dropped, I immediately hopped on Discord and I started chatting with my buddy Ben from Battle Brothers Tabletop. And we were talking, cause you know, we just talk about the new kill team information and he noticed something really special. So in the article, it shows off the new cat unit, which stands for something, who cares? But this new guy is on a very particular base. It's it looks like some concrete with with a, a seam in it and a little piece of rubble. And he noticed that there was another model with his exact same basing scheme, the Kazerkin, the brand new Kazerkin that they showed off a few weeks back. And he is absolutely right. If you look at that base that he's standing on, you can we can see a seam and we can see a little bit of rubble and it's mostly a flat base. So clearly, clearly we are seeing the Kazakhan and the cat on the same base. It's going to be part of the Kill Team box that's set on the Space Hulk. And that's super neat and super interesting. Another thing that points to this being true is on the cat unit, we see the Inquisitorial Eye. And famously, back in the day when you could, I mean, you can still take Inquisition as their own army, but nobody does and nobody would. You really can't. But back in the day, there was a thing that you would take with your Inquisitor Inquisition army called the Stormtroopers, which were essentially the pre kazarkin or Tempesta Scions. Eventually they branched out. And so now Tempesta Scions would probably be a little closer to the Stormtroopers, the old metal Stormtroopers that you would buy back in the day of like third edition or 3.5 edition 40K. And so the Kazarkin totally fit as bodyguards or servants of the Inquisition. So... 
you know, we're gonna get 10 new Kazakin. We're gonna get that one little upgrade sprue with the cat on it that makes the Kazakin usable in Kill Team. And I think games work, and you would think, okay, so we know the Kazakin are gonna be one half of the box. We know that for a fact. And if, you know, if it comes out and we find out that that is not true, I, I you know, for sure, head on over to Battle Brothers Tabletop channel and make fun of them. <laughs> Uh, by the way, uh, Battle Brothers Tabletop is a great channel devoted to all things Kill Team. So if you enjoy Kill Team, definitely a channel worth checking out. But I think we are we can be pretty darn certain that it is going to be the Kazarkin in the box. So what is the other half of the box going to be? Well, you would think we don't know, but in the little nothing video, Games Workshop showed off a video that's literally just a fake camera zoom in on a rendering of a door, of a fancy sci-fi door. And so, you know, you think eh, it's just nonsense because they do that quite a bit in articles where they try to have a little video something to go along with whatever dumb thing the article is talking about. But when the camera gets to the door and then cuts to black, we sort of hear a door noise, but we also hear a roar. And you know what things roar in 40K? Not that much. The only kind of animal species or like animal creatures in 40K is the Tyranids. So, and of course, Tyranids, famously gene stealers, are always the adversary in Space Hulk. A couple of times it's been demons, but let's not pay attention to that. Um, it's always the Tyranid and it's always the gene stealers. And so I think we can be really sure that it's going to be the Kazakin versus the Tyranids, which is crazy. Like the, the last Kill Team box, is not that old. And so we already know what's coming in the next one. I don't know if Games Workshop wants that to be the case or if, you know, just through some sleuthing and, a, and Games Workshop being a little sloppy, we figured it out. But what Tyranid is it going to be? Well, Gene Stealers would be excellent because Gene Stealers are so old. Their kit is unreasonably old for how popular and important Gene Stealers are to Warhammer 40,000. We've also gotten two other plastic gene stealers since the original gene stealer box came out. There were beautiful gene stealers in Space Hulk that were far better than the plastic ones you can buy right now. And there was two really, really nice gene stealers in Death Watch Overkill, the box that they showed off the brand new gene stealer cult models. So there are two different CAD files on someone's computer over in Nottingham, and yet they still use the old, terrible hand sculpted gene stealers is still what you can buy off of the shelf from Games Workshop today. So it, I hope and I suspect it is going to be gene stealers. Brand new gene stealers versus the brand new Kazarkin, which is going to be super great because historically we've been getting one brand new thing and one thing that already existed but has been kind of refreshed for Kill Team. But this would give us two brand new things. Oh God, it better not. It better not be the old gene stealers with some sort of an upgrade sprue. And then the new Kazarkin. It totally could be though. Oh, wouldn't that be the worst? But hopefully it's not. Hopefully it is brand new gene stealers versus brand new Kazarkin. I could also see Lictors being in the box. Lictors are a brilliant unit for the Tyranid. I love them a lot. I used to run them all the time in Kill Team 2018 because my first army was Space Marines, and Space Marines sucked. So I put together a squad of four Lictors, and that made for a much more enjoyable kill team because I would sometimes win. But I could see, I could imagine Lictors being added to the game because Lictors do need to be made for 40K because this is a metal Lictor from back in the day, and currently you can buy them as resin kits. And they look all right, but they're resin and yucky and terrible. So it would be really nice to get a plastic kit. And I could see if they were going to introduce a plastic kit, I could see that uh, coming in Space Hulk. I would say that the probability of it being Lictors is very low. It's probably going to be Gene Stealers because Space Hulk is famously Gene Stealers. But I could, I could see the Lictors being really, really fun too. It would also mean that I get to run my Lictors Kill Team again, which is nice because currently you cannot run Lictors in Kill Team 2, which is a little annoying, but it's also kind of fine because um, it's a much tighter, better game than it was before. And I think part of the reason why Kill Team 18 suffered was because of the huge amount of, the huge pool of miniatures you could take things from, and then there was like barely any limits on what you could spam, and so people would just spam all the best stuff, and it would mean that most armies were really, really bad. But yeah, could be Lictors, almost certainly going to be Gene Stealers. 
So yeah, Games Workshop. Oh, Games Workshop, you thought you just wrote a tiny, tiny little fluff piece in, be in between two more important releases, but in the end, oh, you gave us everything. And you know what? It would be really cool if Space Hulk is coming back. It's, it is just a location in 40K. A often, an often return to location is Space Hulk, but it is Games Workshop. I mean, Games Workshop is bringing the squats to Necromunda and to 40K at the exact same time. So there really is no reason why Space Hulk couldn't be coming to Kill Team and back to reality, back to shelves. I mean, they should sell this everywhere. It's a really good game. It's a great gateway game. It's really fun. I mean, just judging by the fact that there's been like five Space Hulk video games, including one that's just a straight port of the, you know, the board, the minis, the terrain and the rule book. Like if you play through the video game, you're just playing the, mis the missions straight from the book that comes in this box. So just the fact that it's so popular would make you think that they should make this a product. I mean, Games Workshop is weird with products that aren't like their main business pieces. Like, you know, obviously Age of Sigmar, 40K, Kill Team, Warcry, those are like their big money makers. I guess uh, the Lord of the Rings strategy battles game, I hear about that, you know, once a year, but yeah, there's that game too. But those are like their real games that they put resources and effort into. And then you've got weird stuff like Blackstone Fortress, which is a game that they still sell and they've sold for a number of years, but Blackstone Fortress expansions come and go like the wind. Like, you know, they'll they'll drop the Amble and then all of a sudden it's gone, you know, a month later, they'll bring the Cultus of the Abyss out and then those are available for like a weekend. It's really weird. I mean, we all remember the debacle of Cursed City. <laughs> Cursed City came it sold out in 24 hours. Everybody was pissed. They stopped selling it, maybe because of coronavirus, maybe because they were putting more resources into 40K third edition. They never said they never told us, which I don't know why would they, but they probably should have. And then and then they were sort of nice enough to a year later make it available as made to order for the original price and explain that the, we are going to bring this out as a real product and sell expansions, but then they still sort of haven't. So it's weird. Games Workshop is very weird about boxed games that are not their big money makers. But I do feel like Space Hulk is a little special because it's so good and has continued to be so popular throughout history. And Games Workshop never really leaves. They never really leave anything alone. I mean, they're bringing squats back this year. I don't even think Games Workshop thought they were ever gonna bring squats back. I remember years and years ago, they made April Fool's Day videos about the squats coming back. I would love to see Space Hulk return. Is it going to? Maybe, but it's definitely, I think we definitely know exactly what we're getting with Kill Team. And that is, is Kill Team Raymond set on a Space Hulk with the Kazarkin fighting the Gene Stealers. Oh, I'm so excited. That's gonna be like the best box they've come out with. I loved the first box with the Orc Commandos versus the Veteran Guardsman Krieg. I mean, we got Krieg, we got Krieg this year and I feel like nobody is even talking about how cool that is. Before this year, you had to either be a millionaire or buy recast to enjoy the, the Krieg and now you can just buy them off of the shelf at Games Workshop stores. I think that's really cool. And so I definitely think, I definitely don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. But oh, I'm so excited for Kill Team Raymond. It's gonna be, God, if they really call it Kill Team Raymond, I'm gonna go buy a whole bunch of lottery tickets. That would be amazing. <laughs> and then of course, you know, people are gonna go to the store and they're gonna Sharpie everybody loves and then Kill Team Raymond. <laughs> All right, this is going off the, off of the, uh, this is just completely getting out of hand. Yeah, super excited for new Kill Team stuff. Thank you Games Workshop for slipping up and letting us figure everything out about what's coming back. Please, please bring back Space Hulk. It's such a wonderful game, and I totally screwed myself by kit bashing all of the all of the Terminators that came in this box into my Black Templar army, which made perfect sense when I was in high school and I didn't have any money. But now I wish I had a perfect, pristine copy of Space Hulk. So, Games Workshop, if you make a new box of Space Hulk, I'm gonna buy it just to get the Terminators. Literally, I think I also broke some of the, the Gene Stealers. I'm almost most excited just because the next Kill Team board is not going to be Tan Sands. 
Probably. <laughs> it would, God, wouldn't that be upsetting? Like maybe it's a Space Hulk that has crashed into a planet. And so you see like a little tiny corner of Space Hulk and then just more tan sand. What is Games Workshop's thing with tan sand? It is absolutely bizarre. But anyway, we make videos like this all the time. And if you want to see more, the best way to support us is over on Patreon. Over there, we have a Miniature of the Month Club with an original miniature available as STL or physical prints. We have tons and tons of super cool terrain STLs. We also have one extra episode of Eons of Battle a week, some behind the scenes voting role models I paint live here on YouTube, and more. With that said, I am very excited for Kill Team Raymond. So what do you guys think? Am I completely right or am I completely guessing? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.